Dr. Bremer fails to learn the hiding place of the stolen ivory keys from Singapore Smith. When the Phantom finds them, Bremer's men close in on him suddenly. Mr. Phantom, I got him cornered in that old well. You two keep your guns on him from here and I'll slip around through the brush. Right. to send him to the bottom? Yeah. And I'm going to make sure he stays there. Come on, give me a hand with this. of the man who never dies. Yeah, Bremer will sure be proud to know the Phantom's done for. Yeah, but what about the keys we came here to find? Well, you look for them if you like. Braddock and me have done enough for what Bremer's paying us. Yeah, you said it. I know Doc better than you do, and I think I can keep him from blowing up. Break news, Chief. We knocked over the Phantom. The Phantom? Well, Long and Chris told me they took care of him at Rusty's shack. Ah, uh, we're not responsible for what they say. All I know is he showed up at the warehouse. Yeah, we cornered him in the old well and buried him in it. Huh. Wonder what he was looking for there. Keys, maybe? Could be. Looking for them without knowing where to start is like hunting for a needle in a haystack. Which means that you didn't find them either. What happened to the man that held us up at the hotel? He never showed up. I don't think that fellow was looking for the keys. No, he was likely looking for the cash that Smith keeps in his safe. Well, all right. Now, I want you all to get ready to leave with me for Zolas in the morning. I thought you wanted us to take care of the Davidson expedition next. No, I'll drop in on them myself at the Tonga village and discourage the professor from continuing his search for the seventh key. Yeah, but suppose they don't scare so easy. I'll have to try some other way, that's all. This stove throws a lot of heat. Yeah. What's the matter, Rusty? Having trouble with that jigsaw puzzle? Hey, look, look, I got it. Six pieces fit together perfectly, but there's a hole in the middle. Right, our next job is finding that missing segment. Oh, I get it. Without that missing segment, you couldn't find Zola's, right? That's it. Somehow, somewhere, we'll find it. At least Professor Davidson will be happy to get these. Uh-huh. By the way, before I forget, uh, what became of Larkin? Oh, he left for your village today with supplies and porters to rejoin Professor Davidson's expedition. Good. Well, thanks for everything, Rusty. Ah, uh, you're welcome, and a lot of good luck. Come on, Neville. Phantom! Come here! You boy! Phantom, come! All right, Suba. Welcome, stranger. The natives say you always return when you're needed most. I believe them now. Anything wrong? Only that I was left behind. What do you mean? Well, my uncle and Byron wouldn't wait for you any longer, and they left a while ago for the Astari village. 
What do you go there for? Professor Himse must see Saka. Your natives here told Uncle about that old chief who can remember so many years back. I see. He thinks Sarka may be able to tell him something about the missing key. That's it, exactly. So he pulled out as soon as Mr. Larkin returned from Saipana. I'm sorry he didn't wait for me. But he expects you to catch up with him on the trail. Then I better not disappoint him. Come on, devil. Hey, wait a minute. Isn't that Jeffrey Prescott's dog? I don't know. I found him lost in the jungle, and we've become pals. And how did you know his right name? It says so on the collar. Oh. You know, I often wonder what's become of poor Jeffrey. We haven't heard of him since Uncle accused him of robbery. I'm sure I wouldn't know. But I can assure you he didn't steal those keys. Because I recovered them from Singapore Smith last night. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad for Jeffrey's sake. I can hardly wait to tell Uncle. I'll tell him for you. Oh, no, take me with you. The only reason he left me here was because you weren't with the safari. I'm sorry, Diana. You're safer here. Suba, I'll leave Miss Palmer in your care. Well, wait here, all of you. I'm going into the Tonga village and talk to that stubborn professor. Throw a scare into him for me. I don't care what you say, Sue, but Phantom or no Phantom, I'm going to try and join my uncle. Phantom say you stay here. Well, the Phantom has no right to tell me what to do. Goes to walk, says law in jungle. Miss Palmer. Well, I'm certainly glad to see you. Well, what are you doing here? Well, I was on my way to the Longa village. I just thought I'd drop by and have a word with your uncle. Well, you're just a little too late. He and the Phantom are on their way to visit the Astari tribe. You say the Phantom's with the safari? Are you sure? Well, yes. He left here a short while ago to join him on the trail. Well, in that case, if I hurry, I might be able to catch them before they pass my turn off to the Longa village. Please take me with you. Why didn't you go with your uncle? Well, he wouldn't let me. He thought it was too dangerous. Then I'm sorry, Miss Palmer. I couldn't take that responsibility. But I'll tell your uncle I saw you. Goodbye. Suba? Yes? Is it all right if I go swimming? Sure, Miss Palmer. You go swim. Thank you, Suba. Hey. Here comes Bremer on the double. Something must have happened. What's wrong, Doc? Well, you idiots. I just found out the Phantom's still alive. Alive? Why, that's impossible. We saw him drown. You're crazy. He's taking the Davidson expedition to the Astara village. And if he gets there, all my plans will be ruined. Well, what's so important about the Astara village? I've got someone set up there to rule the natives my way. They're liable to rebel if they find out the Phantom's still alive. Now, we've got to get rid of him. Now, the only way the Safari can get out of this valley is through Matu Pass. You, Braddock, and Watson get there and blow up the pass as they come through. Do you think we can get there in time? Porters have to rest every so often. You're traveling light. You can cut in ahead of them. Go on. Right. Now, you three. Davidson's niece is back in Tonga Village. And she sort of fits into my scheme of things. Come on with me. I'm sorry, but I'll have to rest again. Nagaro! It's a good idea to rest a while, Professor. Because from here on, the trail goes uphill to Matu Pass. How far is the Astara village from the pass? We should get there by tonight. So far, your predictions have been right, Larkin. I hope this one is too. I'm certainly glad you recovered those six segments. If we can get the seventh one from Sarka, we'll be on our way to Zolos by tomorrow. Well, I hope for your sake that Sarka has it. Anyway, you owe Jeffrey Prescott an apology. Well, I still don't understand why you didn't bring Diana with you. There's no danger with you here. Not from the natives. Our enemies aren't natives. But Diana's safer back in uh, Tongo village. She hasn't seen us, I'm sure. Now look, I'll tell you exactly what I want you to do. Stan, get back in there and keep low. Miss Palmer. Oh. oh, Dr. Bremner, you frightened me. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm glad you stopped to rest, though. I was trying to catch up with you. So you insist on joining your uncle? 
Well, I'm sorry, but I still can't take you with me. Well, I'm not going back to Tonga. I guess there's nothing much I can do about it, then. <laughs> well, I wonder what this means. Just where do you think you're going? Well, what business is that of yours? Keep your hands off of her. Uh-oh. Painted all right, Doc. Just like you said. Yeah, nice work, fellas. She'll come to in a minute. When she does, tell her you threw my body into the swamp or anything you want to tell her. Just hold her here and keep your eyes open for the Phantom. The Phantom? Yeah, I'll send him back here to pull a rescue. You get it? All right, this time, don't miss. I'll get some water to bring her, too. Hey, Davidson! Professor Davidson! Why, it's Dr. Bremer. Davidson, Miss Palmer, we were back on the trail. Diana? Yes, yes, I met her back on the trail after I came through Tonga Village. We were attacked. They've taken her prisoner. Where did this happen, Doctor? Back on the trail, just below the swamps, only a short while ago. Then they haven't gotten very far. Come on, Devil. I'll go with you. No, I better go alone. You go on to Matu Pass. I'll catch up with you later. How long are you going to keep me here? We ain't sure, sister. Say, we ought to be hearing that explosion pretty soon. What explosion? That two pass ain't very far from here. And they're gonna blow her up. Go get him, fella. Go on. Go get him. Look, the Phantom stalled. Hold the dog off. Oh, now we got to round her up again. Not me, brother. I don't want any more of that dog. Say, maybe that's a trick of the Phantoms. I don't want any more of him either. I'm getting out of here. You can get out of here if you want to, but I'm going to get that girl. Come on, King. <laughs> stubbornness got you? I told you to stay in the village. I'm sorry. I'd better get to your uncle and stop him from going through the pass. I can travel faster alone. So I'll leave Devil with you and you follow behind. The main trail up this way. All right, boys. Run the wire up to the edge of that hill and set the detonator. I'll tap her in. All right. All right, let's hook it up here. This ought to be far enough. Hurry up, fellas. The safari is heading in close to the fast. Good. We're practically set. All you gotta do is pull that plunger up and bear down on it. But I give you the signal. Hit Braddock. 
too. Look. I bury the Phantom and the Safari at the same time. You get back to the plunger. When I drop my hand, let it go. Davidson expedition walking into another trap? Will Bremer actually become the ruler of the jungle? Don't miss the Fire Princess, the next smashing episode of The Phantom at this theater next week. <laughs> <laughs>